I have a question. We greet you, my brother. This may seem trivial, but I'm intrigued by the stone that our friend found, and I was wondering what significance of it you are aware, or what is it? We are aware of your question. We would ask that the stone be placed in the channel's hand. We are having difficulty with this instrument due to her lack of training. However, we can say to you that this is a natural formation untouched by man and unconnected with man. We are attempting to explain to her the processes which cause the formation of this rock. It has many layers. It was not made at once. It has been... Okay, all I can do is tell you is that I'm seeing it coming down to the earth and then being thrown up in some kind of a volcanic or thrown up like a mountain being thrown up and landing and it's being weathered by water. Is it an extraterrestrial rock? I am with this instrument. The interior of this rock is not planetary. However, the exterior of this rock is. What is the significance of this rock, if any, that you are aware of? That which it is given by its possessor. It would seem to be a good talesman. Due to the fact that it signifies a transformational change to its possessor. We knock question and answer, and yet we encourage the transformation of man. You must realize we think we are funny, too. We think everything is funny due to the fact that we are in a position where light is all that there is. And light, seen in its pure state, is complete joy. We do not find your intellectual efforts to be part of our aid to you and urge you to follow that which, according to your own free will, seems best. You must realize that to understand yourself, you may not need longer and longer words, but longer and longer silences. The idea of a brain as a computer that can be reprogrammed and the idea of planetary consciousness as a giant computer that can be reprogrammed is a manipulative idea not directly associated with the creator's primary law which concerns the freedom of all beings. The conscious individual and the conscious planetary awareness can make conscious changes. But the strong cannot coerce those who are not ready. Thus, patience becomes your ally and a sense of humor that which you hold dearest. 
We are sorry we cannot be more responsive to your question, but we feel that you are searching so deeply for an intellectual way at this point that we do not wish to unbalance you by entering into intellectual discussions, but merely encourage you to seek the discrimination that is inherent within your own facilities below the level of the conscious mind. The key in all things is balance. Your intellect is a tool. Yours in balance with the proper amount of meditation and the contemplation of your, shall we say, emotional being in day-to-day -day and moment-to-moment -moment actions. Ah, there is perfection. Without such balance, the intellectual machinery will not feed you correct information. Due to the fact that that your intellect cannot synthesize information, but only analyze. The activity of intuition must be sought out within a different type of mental activity, which is below the conscious level. You may choose to do this while you are doing some familiar chore. You may choose to meditate. It does not matter how you achieve the state of unquestioning being in which you are listening for that within yourself, which is below the conscious level. It is, however, important for you to know that it is as important for you to discover, for you to understand those levels of yourself which are below consciousness, as it is for you to understand that machine which is called the intellect. The intellect is a tool. The dreaming subconscious is a tool. The planetary consciousness, which lies below all of these things, is the greatest tool. Therefore, as you find your intellect racing after one idea and then another, Pause and take a few moments to balance yourself with the search into other areas of your own ability to understand yourself. For within that understanding of yourself lies the understanding of that which is.